Clean Run Magazine digital issues have many tools and options that make them easy to use enhanced versions of the paper magazine. Take a look. When you first open your issue, you will see this, how to get the most out of your magazine sidebar. If you click on it, this side option will open up and everything in the box will tell you what you need to know about what all the toolbar options are. Refer to it anytime you need to. Now let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of these buttons. When you click on a page in the magazine, you can zoom in. This is a left click that allows you to zoom in and out. You have the option of setting in advance how much you would like a zoom in to be. So you can set your zoom factor. So this is a lower zoom factor as indicated as to where uh, this slider button is. I press the, the plus, I get a much closer zoom factor. Now, every time I click on the magazine, it's gonna zoom in to the degree of the zoom factor that I chose. If I don't like the zoom factor that I've chosen uh, overall, then I can go over to the slider, which is always over here, and change it. The next thing that you might wanna check out are these buttons. These are go to the next page, go to the end of the magazine, Go to the previous page, go to the beginning of the magazine. Easy ways to navigate through the magazine. Also, those same buttons are on the side. So you can get the same effect here as well. Easy to use on your computer. Next thing I want to show you is our interactive table of contents. There's two ways to get to the table of contents the old-fashioned way, where you turn the page, or the newfangled way, which is to press the table of contents button. Either way, you'll see that we get a pointer finger every time we go over one of the articles. That's because we can go directly to that page just by clicking it. So you don't have to leave through page by page. You just go to the table of contents, and decide that you want to read. Sometimes you just gotta cheat and you go straight there. It's super easy and super fast. We also have a view all pages button. That's what these uh, little rectangles are. If you click the view all pages button, you get an overview of the entire magazine. So if you're a super visual person and you can click on the view all pages, and then decide, okay, I wanna to go to a page that has maps because I wanna look at some course maps right away. So I'm gonna go here because there's a lot of course maps on that one. All I had to do was click it. Wanna make it bigger? Click it again. Sometimes you might want to print your issue of Clean Run or a part of your issue of Clean Run. So you click that printer button right there and it takes you to this page. You have a couple of options. You can print uh, the entire magazine by printing from cover one to cover two, and then clicking your print button, or you could select the page or range of pages that you'd like to print in that way. Or you can go over here and you can click the page that you'd like to print there switch that to select to individual, select and print individual pages and do that. Or you can pick a page, click it, hold down your shift button, and then click another page and it will print all the pages in between. So now, how do we print from here? So let's say I'm gonna print these 10 pages. I click the print button and I wait for my page to come up. Now. You can see right here that this page is black and white. That's because my printer, I've already selected black and white. So I am choosing to print the pages in my selection, which are 11 sheets of paper, um, in black and white. But I also have the option to switch to color and then it will print it in color. 
Doesn't matter how I choose, that's my option. Then I just click the print button and it will print. But I'm not gonna do that right now because then you'd have to listen to my printer. Nobody wants that. So printing is very easy. So you can print your magazine or parts of your magazine to take outside with you um, or write on whatever it is that you want to do. You can also download. See how it says save to your desktop or device? When I go to this download button, downloading gives you the option to save it onto your computer. Um, so I'm going to save it in my downloads. You can see all the other things that I have currently downloaded in my downloads. But it would just save as a PDF right here. I just click the save button and I will save. In fact, I'll even do it. And I'll save the magazine. Now you can see it's down here. It's, um, it's already saved. So I have the choice now to read this online or on my actual device directly, which is very handy if I'm someplace and I don't have Wi-Fi. We also have a go to another issue button. That's what this one is. It's like a stack of magazines. If you click that go to another issue button, the issues that um, are available are here and you can click them and it will take you to that magazine. So you can have, now I have two magazines open at a time. This is the January. Going back to the magazine we were working on, I'm going to close that out of the archives. There's also the handy dandy help button. You click the help button and it takes you right back to these toolbar options. And um, you can click the FAQ and get more information from uh, the company that we get uh, the service from, or you can contact them for more information. There's also a full screen mode. When you press the full screen mode, it fills up your entire computer screen. It still has the toolbar options at the top, but you can't see them because they're outside my screen that I am filming. So my apologies for that, but these options stay at the top, but otherwise it fills up your entire screen. Just click it again, and it makes it smaller again. Let's take a look in our toolbox. We click the toolbox. Our first feature is the search setting. So you type in what it is that you would like to search on. I'm going to search on my name. When I search on my name, if I leave it on any of these words, then it will give me any mentions of Brenna or Fender in any articles, as well as Brenna Fender together. If I don't want that because I don't want to know about anyone else named Brenna, for example, or I don't want to read about any dogs named Fender or whatever, then I click on, I can click on another option. If I click of all of these, on all of these words, it will only give me articles in which both Brenna and Fender are mentioned, but not necessarily together or, um, or right next to each other like that. So it could be an article about a dog named Brenna and a dog named Fender. It just happened to be in the same article. So I'm going to pick the exact phrase because in my case, I really want only things that say my name, Brenna Fender, together. First of all, I can search only in this issue. When I search only in this issue, I click search, and it shows me the three places in which my name is mentioned together, Brenna Fender, as you see, in the magazine. Now, these are small, but as you can see, when I hover over them, it shows up bigger over than this area. So I can tell exactly what it is. So if I want to then further investigate, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one and look, there's my editorial, there's my name together, Brenna Fender. So uh, it searched correctly. My name's also on the page right next to it, how handy. If I go back to the tools and back to search, it thankfully remembers my information. So now if I wanna search the archives, when I click it, it goes on out to uh, the next book site. Next book is the company that runs this, um, this digital software. And it shows you all 712 places in the magazine's archives in which my name appears. Um, so I'm gonna close that out because I really don't actually want to research that any further, but I could have clicked any one of those and gone directly to the article with my name in it. We also have user settings. User settings allow you to uh, change uh, the way the screen looks to you a little bit. If you uh, don't enable the page animation, then you don't see the page turning when you turn the pages. It just goes from page to page. If you enable the center shadow, then over here, when there's a slight shadow that just makes it look a little bit more 3D. 
Um, if you auto hide the toolbars and you click that and your toolbars will disappear, but I don't want to do that because I like my toolbars. So I click OK and now uh, my changes will be made. I still have my animation, but now I have that little bit of that shadow to make it 3D looking. Click on the toolbox. Now our next option is one page mode. That allows you to see one page at a time. This is particularly handy for devices like uh, phones or iPads. Uh, one page mode works really well for those. You can also make notes. So uh, I can click anywhere on the page to make a note. When I click, then it uh, makes this little box over here and I'm gonna put study this more later. And then I'm gonna save it. And so when I do that, I can close this. I can go on to other pages of the magazine. And then when I leaf through the magazine again, I'm gonna say, oh, I left myself a note. And I click it and it shows me what my note was, reminding me to study more later. When I'm done with the note, I can trash it. Close my note section. So these are the main functions that the digital magazine can do. Take myself back to the first page. Remember that this is your very handy reminder that tells you what to do, and that most of your buttons, really all of your buttons, are available up here on this top bar. Even when you go to full screen mode, you will still have access to all of these buttons unless you click the hide toolbar button, which I don't recommend that you do. See, we're still in single mode, which um, I kind of don't like. So I'm going to go back to two page mode because I like that page turny feel whenever I read the magazine. If you have any questions, please contact customer service at info at cleanrun.com and they will help you out.